We have another story for you this afternoon in... Pinny is a little wooden doll, no taller than a pin. She lives in a china house on a shelf in the sitting room. Victor is the smallest wooden sailor in the world. His boat stands next to the house. It has white sails, but it never goes to sea. On the wall above the shelf hangs a picture. It is called The Shipwreck. There is a ship in a rough sea, and all around it are great fishes and sea monsters. Isn't it exciting, says Victor, but Pinny thinks it's rather frightening. The girl who plays with the dolls is called Jo. One day, she put Pinny and Victor in the boat and took them upstairs to play in the bath. Jo turned on the taps and filled the bath. The boat floated quite well. Then Jo blew on the boat and it sailed gently along the water, just like a real boat on a calm sea. Joe's brother Tom came in. He had a toy frog. He wound it up and put it in the water. The frog kicked its legs and swam across the bath. Then Joe remembered that she had a toy fish, so she wound that up and put it in the bath. It flapped its tail and splashed across the water. Joe and Tom left all the toys in the bath and went to see what else they could find. The toy fish turned and swam towards the sailing boat. When Penny saw the fish coming closer, she was rather frightened. She thought it looked a bit like one of the sea monsters in the picture. Don't be scared, said Victor. It's only a plastic toy. And when the fish came close, he just pushed it away with his feet. Tom and Joe's mum came in. She saw the bath full of water and pulled out the plug. I'll come back and clean it when it's empty, she said. As the bath began to empty, the toys drifted towards the plug hole. Pinny and Victor saw the frog and the fish spinning round and round. Hold tight, said Victor. It's a whirlpool. They tried to balance in the tiny boat, but suddenly it tipped over and out fell the little dolls into the water. Luckily, being made of wood, they floated quite well. Swim to that island, spluttered Victor. They swam to a sponge and climbed onto it. We've been shipwrecked, said Victor. We were lucky, said Pinny. We might have been washed down the plug hole. They looked up at the slippery sides of the bath. Then they saw a spider climbing out of the overflow. And then climbed up again. Look, said Victor. The spider is showing us how to get out. Come on. They climbed up the chain and then onto a flannel which was hanging over the side of the bath. When Mum came back to clean the bath, she was surprised to see Pinny and Victor sitting on the flannel. Fancy leaving them there, she said. Something terrible might have happened. Thank you to Tom.